Why did you choose him over me? I choose him over you, Ryan. Are you in love with me? In love with a player like you, who mixes with the old man? Is this how you always help Arthur to acquire resources? Am I right? Ryan, didn't you say you don't love me? Why are you contradicting yourself now? Aren't you afraid that I will force myself on you? How so? Mr. Morrison, the guests are done having fun. What's next? How was it? You're quite quick, Mr. Morrison. How can you talk to Mr. Morrison like that? Maybe he just doesn't like the ladies here. He must only love the virgins. Unlike him, we only like those who are experienced. Everyone has their own preferences. Are you guys satisfied? Not bad. Then perfect. As long as you can deal with the problems later on. But don't worry. I'll settle the company. Smart men. We're in it together. Excuse me. Hello. Ryan. Where are you? I have some things to attend to. We'll talk later. Do you hate me? Why are you not treating me this way? No wonder Mr. Ryan doesn't want to have fun with us. It seems like he already has a date with a beauty. Yasters, there's some lovey-dovey things right there. Can't you find a better time to call? Ryan, I I didn't know. Stop calling me. <laughs> Please pardon me. Let's continue. Where were we? That project of yours. I think it's pretty decent. Of course, it is specially made for you. We're more sure to work with you. Mr. Roy Morrison, what's next? Home. Home? There's a batch of resources in Morrison's. Are now in the hands of a certain someone. I need to talk to Julian. Talk to Mr. Julian Morrison? Aren't you guys on bad terms? There's no such thing as bad terms in the adult world. There's only profit and no eternal animus. That also means no eternal friends. Tell me, what backup plans do you have? If a woman have too much love for a man, it's not necessarily a good thing. Coincidentally, Ryan's side has such a woman. Exactly. Are you talking about me? I deliberately leaked some information of Ryan's whereabouts there. A jealous woman is most likely to go berserk. Keep going. Tina can't be handed over to the cunning old hags in the club. That's why I sent this woman and had Tina to stage a farce to catch an adulterer. Why? What you want is their money, while well, all Ryan wants is their resources. As long as they know Ryan is not the same kind as them, even if he managed to stay in touch, these guys will still come to you. It seems like I've underestimated you. If everything goes well, they will be arriving soon. Once you get what you want, don't forget about me. How can you be so sure? What is it? Mr. Ryan is here. Let him wait. Speak of the devil. It seems like you know him very well. You're wrong. I'm just standing at both of your point of view and the benefits. While making my decisions, let's go welcome him. Let's see what he has to say. Since the Asian times, sibling rivalry has always been an ongoing drama. Ryan, what a rare guest. Why are you here? How about that? With our combined power, we'll be able to win against anything. Did I interrupt your brotherly moments? If you had enough rest, you should come back home with me. After all, it's inappropriate for a man and a woman to be in the same room. Ryan! Ryan, it hurts! It's interesting. Does this mean a cooperation? She's right. A woman's jealousy can be terrifying. With May's interference, the investors will know that Ryan's never minded, which benefits me. However, Leah and Ryan seem to be quite close. She's a good pawn. A man sure does love a talented yet cunning woman. Only a woman like that can spike a man's desire. I understand. Julian is telling the truth. Leah, how dare she seduce Ryan? 
our teacher lesson. Ryan, are you insane? Tell me, why did you go with him? By going with him, I bought you more time. Isn't that good? Why did you choose him over me? I choose him over you, Ryan. Are you in love with me? In love with a player like you, who mixes with the old man? Is this how you always help Arthur to acquire resources? Am I right? Ryan, didn't you say you don't love me? Why are you contradicting yourself now? Aren't you afraid that I will force myself on you? How so? Who are you? Why are you here? Ryan, I'm helping you. You may be trying to please Julian, but in your eyes, I see a hint of hatred. Even though it's just a second. What if I tell you that I have a grudge against Julian for my mother's murder? Go on. You saw what happened in the real estate club too. Back then, my mother worked in this club to raise me. Twelve years ago, someone in this club died. Did you know that? That woman? Yes, it's the woman you're talking about. In order to raise me, she was hired as a singer by this club. But someone used me to threaten her. I'm sure you know what happened next. Ryan, I know you're not like them. You won't use a woman as a tool to generate profit. You don't use their tactics. Don't look at me like that. I don't need any sympathy. Don't bring that up again. From now on, I'll do my best to protect you. Protect me? In the end, you're nothing but just another member of this family. I heard that Joe once kidnapped and sent abroad. That is why, when it comes to you, I hold less hatred compared to the others. After all, you're not Julia, who's always part of Arthur's filthy business. What do you want? An eye for an eye. Miss Vasquez, it's about time. You shrew! Are you questioning Ryan's capability? In this short period of time, what can we do? Madam Leah, the VIP room is over here. Time is key. Someone's following me. What do you need me to do? Recently, Ryan and Julian are both eyeing the raw materials. I need you to do something about raw materials. The bigger, the better. That's not a problem. I'm just worried about you. Even if the Morrisons is paid of no return, I'm not turning back. My mother's vengeance is necessary. Besides, the two brothers are not a worthy foe. I'm not talking about siblings. I'm referring to Madame Barrera. She may be no longer in the front line, but she's not one to be taken lightly. 